morning guys so today is my second day in florence i am now going to go bright and early it's now around nine actually um to the batip to the baptistry to collect my ticket the integrated ticket for the duomo area so i'm just gonna activate my firenze card there and then my plan is to go to uffizi and palazzo vecchio and then the pitti palace and end the day around the basilica of san lorenzo so yeah i hope today it's gonna go swimmingly <laughs> because yesterday my plan didn't work out too well um yeah my leg is still killing me like the back of my left leg is still hurting a lot and i hope that i can still walk at the end of the day okay so let's go you guys it really is so much nicer when it's like early in the morning and there's not so much tourists running around and the weather is not crazy hot tickets for the Duomo complex but the problem is you have to reserve the ticket you have to reserve a time slot for um, to get up to the cupola which is the, like the dome the problem is it sold out until Saturday and I leave Florence on Saturday and it sold out until like 2 30 p.m and i leave florence at like 12 so i'm so sad i can't get the ticket to get to go up to the cupola which was what i wanted if only i've got the firenze card yesterday i probably will still be able to reserve the ticket to the cupola while i'm still in florence so i'm really upset about that but I suppose it's not the end of the world. I can still go up the bell tower and I can still see what's inside the Duomo itself. We're again at the Plaza della Signoria, the Palazzo Vecchio, and behind here is the Uffizi, but we're gonna go to Vecchio first. Heading down to the excavation site under the Palazzo Vecchio. So I suppose this is what it's supposed to look like before the Palazzo Vecchio is like built upon it Gorgeous basically. So this is the famous 
Dante's Death Mask. Gonna go up to the tower and see what we can see from the tower. But now we're really on top of the tower. Well, technically, no, you can actually get up again there. But you know, good enough. All these people are waiting to get on top of the tower because apparently they only allow like 30 people up there. I didn't even have to wait that long. That's crazy. Look at all these people. Seriously? This must be at least an hour of speed. By the end of that climb of the tower, my legs were like literally shaking. So we just decided to grab a lunch and I did that and I ordered a very basic tagliatelle alla bolognese, which was okay. Um, it was good enough and it wasn't too expensive. It was like 10 euros compared to the other ones around the area which is obviously very touristy which was like 18 or something but yeah now we're heading off to the Uffizi gallery and let's see what we can find German sculpture of the second half of the 20th century. a bitter rival of Florence at the time and this especially is a very famous one which depicts Annunciation I think of when the angel Gabriel gave the news to Mary. You can see the relief it's supposed to say I think in translation 
um, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. And the angel in this part is supposed to just have touched the ground. I think that's Jesus' baptism with, you, with Johannes. Medici's Chapel is not technically a part of the Basilica anymore. I actually wanted to go into the uh, Medici Chapel, but I'm too late by seven minutes, so it's now closed. And I think I'm just gonna head out first to the gardens of the San Lorenzo Basilica, and also maybe take a glimpse to the library, the Medici's library. My battery just died, and I had two batteries, and they're all already dead. Okay, so I'm resorting to my phone. I'm now at the Medici library. Apparently, it's actually also in the garden of the Basilica San Lorenzo. You can see behind.
is um, brown and curly. So I think the dark in my phone is not so great that I can take this out. Um, so they are basically pieces of bones of saints are So I'm now just back at the hotel. I'm all dressed down. I'm just in my pajamas and I'm so ready for bed. I don't even have my contacts on so I don't even know if I'm in focus or not. I can't even see that far. My eyes are so bad. But I thought I would just update you guys that after I went to dinner, my battery just died and I think I mentioned this because I ended up filming a little bit of the Medici library from my phone. Um, basically my camera's battery died although that was my second one for today I think I really really overdid it at um, Uffizi and Palazzo Vecchio for like recording and taking pictures I basically did way too much of it I don't even know what I've filmed anymore but yeah that's basically it um, and I thought I just wanna end the vlog and I wanna show you guys something so in the In the souvenirs store, is that what you call it? Um, of the Uffizi Gallery, I bought this. So it's basically a 540 piece puzzle depicting the birth of Venus, which I saw today and you saw today if you've watched this vlog all the way through. Yeah, I thought it was a nice little memento. I, I'm trying to get into puzzles and I've done so far, I borrowed a thousand pieces one from a friend of mine's um, and then I bought a 500 one which I think you saw somewhere somehow um, probably in my Instagram stories but yeah I thought this might be interesting so I bought this this was 10 euros which I think was a fair price I think I got um, my my 500 pieces puzzle from Amazon also for around 10 euros so I think it was a fair price and yeah that's basically it for today I really hope that you've enjoyed this video I can't say yet if it's long or short because I don't know how I'm gonna edit this vlog yet but I hope you've enjoyed it and if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys tomorrow bye <music>